So here's a quick overview on how you can use SOLIDWORKS PCB connector. You just need to make sure that you're signed into PCB services um, and you just connect to your server over 9780. The default password is admin, uh, sorry, the default user is admin, the default password is admin. Uh, you start a managed project in your default repository or whichever repository you have on PCB services. You do need to make sure the PCB and services is installed on that server that you logged into just a second ago. Then uh, once you get your new project, we can just make a simple PCB to test this out. So I'll make a schematic first. <clears throat> and I'm just going to place a couple of components. So let's grab two components here. All right, then we're going to need to make sure we annotate. So um, I don't need to do any resetting or any of that stuff here, but uh, I just need to make sure that I get those added. And then I'm going to go and accept the changes on the ECO. So it actually makes these changes, validate them, and execute. So I get my uh, reference designators there. And then I'll make sure that I save the document uh, so that I can pull it into the PCB. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new PCB document next. <clears throat> then we just need to make sure that we import the changes from the schematic here. I need to make sure that before I do that, though, I actually save my schematic. So if you get that error message, just make sure that you save your schematic or so your PCB first. And we can execute the changes. We'll get our components so we can go ahead and place those. You can go into the 3D view if you want to see what it should sort of look like over inside of SOLIDWORKS. And then we need to make sure that we have our PCB connector enabled. So we just go to the View tab and enable the PCB connector. If you're using Altium, uh, you may need to go install that PCB connector first through your add-ins. And then we're going to make sure that we push that design up. So this is going to save it in PCB services so that it's accessible through SOLIDWORKS as well. While this is going, I'll just go and load up SOLIDWORKS. <clears throat> SOLIDWORKS open, we just need to load the PCB connector add-in. Then we can log in. If I hit pull board, it'll automatically pull up the sign in. And I'll just do the server that PCB services installed in, and then the port 9780, and then my username and password. Again, default is admin, admin. And then we can see all of the managed projects, and we'll just open up the test project that I just made. And then it's going to ask me to save the assembly. Make sure you have it saved somewhere that you have right access to. And it's going to go ahead and build the board and the components. There's a setting in the top right where you can have it have a library of these components. So it will uh, won't continue to create new components every time. But um, just to show you really quick, I'll just uh, move a component around and then uh, make a change to the board. And then we'll push this back. So um, there, I got my component moved. Then uh, if I just edit the sketch of the board here, I could trim off this corner. Then I'll just exit the sketch and make sure I exit the board file. And then uh, we can go ahead and push the changes that we've made back to SOLIDWORKS PCB. And these notes just show up in the history. If we go back to SOLIDWORKS PCB, we should be able to see that there's changes available. You just hit view changes. You can preview them or you can just check the boxes and accept. <clears throat> there we go.